Welcome back. Problem 8-36 that is taken from Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler in Chapter number 8 Combined Loading. Statement of problem is the drill is jammed in the wall and is subjected to torque and force shown. Determine the state of stress at point A on the cross section of drill bit at section AA. So you can see this is the drill bit. This is the force that it, that is acting at an angle magnitude of force is 150 newton this drill is jammed in the wall and the torque t is applied 20 newton into meter so you have to find the uh, state of stress at point a so this is the cross section of drill bit so you have to find the state of rest at a so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you cut it uh, along section a a so definitely you will be having a reaction force in x direction this is x direction so it is nx and you will be having a shear force vy in downward direction clear and the, as there is a 20 newton torque is applied so on in reaction the torque reaction t will be this and this will be in opposite to this torque and the last thing is that you will be having a moment about z axis mz so this is y axis this is x axis and z axis is out of the plane so moment will be along uh, about z axis so we'll find this nx vy we will find mz and the reaction torque by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so you can see you have two forces two component of this force one is this one and this component is fy i will write it over here so fy will be equal to 150 f this is theta angle so sine of theta will be equal to three four over five uh, sine of uh, theta will be three over five so this will be its vertical component and the other component will be this one horizontal component and this horizontal component will be equal to 150 into cos of theta and cos of theta will be equal to four over five okay so vertical comp vertical component is this one and it is upward so it will be positive so 150 into uh, 3 by 5 minus vy is equal to 0 so from here you will get the vertical shear force vy will be equal to 90 newton so we have this vertical shear force now we'll find horizontal shear force by using equilibrium uh, horizontal normal force nx so by using this equation of equilibrium so nx is in positive in positive we we take positive x in this direction y in this direction and z in this direction you can choose your own one okay so nx minus this horizontal component which is 150 into 4 over 5 so from here will be equal to 0 so from here you will get nx will be equal to 120 newton okay so you have this nx now what we will do is that we will find this torque so you can see that sum of moment about x axis is equal to zero so about this x-axis one torque is this one which is 20 newton clockwise and the second torque is this reaction torque that is counterclockwise so their sum must be equal to zero so counterclockwise is taken as positive minus clockwise torque is taken as negative so what we get is that torque reaction torque will be equal to 20 newton into meter and the last thing we will find is the moment about z axis so sum of all moment about z axis must be equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about this z axis one moment is this mz which is clockwise that will take in as negative the second moment about this axis is this horizontal force 
into perpendicular distance is 125 and third one is this force into perpendicular distance is 400 millimeter their sum must be equal to zero so i will write it minus mz clear minus 150 into 4 by 5 which is this component 150 into 4 by 5 is this component and perpendicular distance is 125 millimeter which in meter is 0 0.125 the third moment is due to this fy force so plus fy fy is 150 into 3 by 5 and perpendicular distance is 400 millimeter which is 0 0.400 their sum must be equal to zero so when you solve this you will get moment about z axis comes out to be 21 newton into meter so now you have all these reaction forces and torques and moment so what we will do is that we will go to find the uh, state of stress but before going into that we will also find the section properties for example area moment of inertia okay so we will first find area so area of this circular twist drill will be equal to pi r square and r is given as 5 millimeter which is 0 0.005 whole square so this will be equal to 25 multiplied by pi into 10 raised to power minus 6 and unit will be meter square we will find moment of inertia i so i for this circular rod or twist drill will be equal to pi by 4 r power 4 so pi and r is 0 0.5 pi by 4 and r is 0 0.005 power 4 so we will get 0 0.15625 times moon pi into 10 to power minus 9 and unit will be meter power 4 the last thing we will find is the polar moment of inertia so polar moment of inertia is j and that is for circular shape or body it is pi by 2 c power r power 4 so put the value pi by 2 r is again 0 0.005 power 4 and you will get j will be equal to 0 0.3125 times pi multiplied by 10 to the power minus 9 meter power 4. Now we will use all these section properties. So first we will find the normal stresses. We know that normal stress. So normal stress is represented at sigma. So you can see here that we have one normal stress is nx divide by the area will give you normal stress another normal stress is due to this bending moment that is mz moment about z so this normal stress will be the combination of uh, mm, n by x nx by area nx by area plus minus m into y divided by i so from here you can see that nx this is compressive stress that is com causing compression in this rod or twist drill so we will take minus nx over a and plus minus moment moment about z moment about z is this one 21 newton into meter so 21 into y y is distance from neutral axis till point a so this distance is taken as positive which is 0 0.5 millimeter and that is 0 0.005 this plus will be converted into minus because this is the formula clear divide by i i which we have calculated is this one 0 0.165 0 0.15625 times pi into 10 to the power minus 9 nx which we have calculated is 120 so i will replace minus 120 because this is his compression and area is given as 25 multiplied by pi into 10 to the power minus 6 so when you solve this you will get the normal stress at point a will be equal to 
minus 215.43 megapascal or you can say that normal stress at a is 215 megapascal and that is in compression okay now we'll move toward uh, so we will move towards shear stress so shear stress r of will will be two shear stress one shear stress is the transverse shear stress the transverse shear stress due to vertical shear due to vy that will be equal to tau of xy due to vertical shear stress at point A will be equal to Vy into QA divided by IZ into thickness, thickness T. So you can see at this point A is the outer surface and that is a that is away from the neutral axis. So Q area at, at this point A area will be equal to zero and we know that QA is equal to Y dash into a. So Q will be equal to 0 and this whole term will be equal to 0. So there is no shear stress longitudinal or uh, transfer shear stress. So that will be 0. The other shear stress is due to the torsional shear stress. So torsional shear stress due to torque to T. And that is equal to tau of xz due to torque t at point A will be equal to t into r, t into r where that we represent r with c divided by j. So torque is 20, which we calculated was 20 newton into meter. So 20 multiplied by c is 0 0.005 which was radius and j which we have calculated is this one 0 0.3125 0 0.3125 pi into 10 to the power minus 9 so when you calculate it you will get 101.86 mega pascal so total um, shear stress will be equal to tau of xy due to vertical shear at point A plus tau of XZ due to torque at point A. So this is 0, this is 101.86. So total sharing stress will be equal to 102 mega Pascal. And that will be only in XZ direction. So this is the shear stress now we will represent them on elements so if you take the element like this if you take the element like this and define the axis so this was your y axis this was your z axis and this was your x axis so normal stress in the direction of s is minus 215 so we will represent this stress is compressive so this will be like this stress will be like 215 mega pascal now of tau of xz so xz is this one so you can see that we are going to plot tau of yz so in tau of uh, sorry xz in tau of xz x is the plane and z is the direction so x plane is actually yz x plane is the yz so yz plane is this one so in the direction of z you are this shear stress will be this one similarly it will be this one this will be this and shear stress on other face will be this one so the value of that is 102 mega 
पास्कल तो एक्स जी एंड दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम थ्री डैश एट डैश थर्टी सिक्स आई होप यू हैव इन्जॉयड दिस वीडियो एंड यू हैव लर्न फ्राम इट दो आर न्यू टू माई चैनल दैन सब्सक्राइब इट एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट माई लेटेस्ट वीडियोज इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी इन कमेंट सेक्शन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग